Hi Aquarius, welcome to our channel. This is Gwen with Mystic Tumbleweeds. I'm here to do a timeless reading for you. Yeah, this one's going to be super, super fun, super cool. It's um, using my brand new tarot deck, the Tarot of Sexual Magic. So um, this is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And this is a timeless reading, meaning you're going to be drawn to the reading when you're supposed to, to hear the messages, regardless of date or time. Remember, this reading's general, so take what resonates, throw the rest out. If this resonates, please do give me a thumbs up, comment down below. This should be a very interesting reading. I'm doing three card spread, desires, fears, and lessons to be learned. This is for Aquarius spirit. Please show me clearly. Uh, we've already got one card out. I need desires, fears, and lesson to be learned. Whoa. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. First card out is the um, King of Pentacles, by the way, in the Desires. What are the fears of Aquarius? What are Aquarius's fears when it comes to relationships? What are Aquarius's fears? Okay. The Tower. Oh, my lovies. Yeah, oh, those tower moments, right? They're never fun. And the lesson to be learned, uh, the Queen of Swords. Oh, levies. Let's see. Let's let's talk a little bit about these real quick. So, uh, desires. In the desires, we've got the King of Pentacles. I want you to take a look at this card. Um, the imagery is, you know, it's a sexual magic uh, deck. So, you know. I'm all right with sexuality and with nudity. So and it's an art form, you know, and we should all be comfortable with that. So I'm really embracing this beautiful deck. It does it. It only comes with a little deck, a little guidebook. So, but the each card has a specific meaning. So I'm going to go to the book and, uh, cause this is your desires. The King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is grounded and wealthy, right? Pretty solid um, in a regular tarot deck. Um, the magic of the white dove. Is there a white dove there? Yes, the magic of the white dove. Uh, fear increases the distance and pursuing your partner will do no good. Happiness is born of a mutual effort to move towards each other. Okay. So the dove always tells us to be at peace where we're at. And that's what your desire is to be at peace with your relationship with where you're at. And you don't want to have to chase after them. Um, you know, your happiness is born of mutual effort, mutual of reciprocity. You know what I'm saying? Of mutual give and take. And that's what your desires are. Okay, your fear is these, this tower moment, my loves. It's pretty wicked in this deck. Wow, is it powerful. Okay, I'm going to the tower to see what it says here. These tower moments, um, they happen a lot when we don't make the necessary moves. Uh, sometimes the universe, the spirit, spirit will come in and kind of make things happen if we aren't making things happen. And the tower moments always clear out. Things that are, you know, no longer serving us or changes that need to be made. Um, so we can learn much from them, by the way, you know. I know they're never easy to go through, but this is what you fear. You're in, um, down deep, it's your fear, the tower. Being betrayed by your partner, that's what your fear is. Whoever I'm connecting with. Um, the, the doll, this is called. Um, a dangerous situation, betrayal, deception. Or imminent breakup. Protect yourself from this threat by using all your own resources. Use your gut. Use your intuition. Okay? That's what I'm hearing. It, it'll never lead you astray. So you fear being misled, cheated on, betrayed, you know, and, and, and witnessing it, you know. That's what I feel from this. And uh, the lesson being learned in this situation is, um, don't let the, don't let the ego mind, the fear-based mind 
rule your heart, rule your choices, okay? The, the feeling to embrace are your desires, this King of Pentacles energy, okay? Where it is a mutual give and take in the relationship, okay? And that you do deserve this stable, peaceful kind of love that the dub speaks of, okay? And you create that by changing your point of awareness, okay? What is your point of attraction? Are you at peace? Okay. And the Queen of uh, Queen of Swords is here. Um the lesson that's going to be learned is the Queen of Swords, okay? So let's let's look at what the book has to say. Look at the imagery on that one while we get to the book here. Queen of Swords. This is exploring, okay? Um, the magic of the black candle. Solitude is not death. A undesired partner must be sent away, even at the cost of breaking your own heart. Whoa, I wasn't expecting that to come out. That's the lesson. Sometimes we have to bring our own, break our own heart if we're not getting the mutual give and take or the reciprocity and we're fearing all of this betrayal. Okay, your intuition's guiding you. All right. So, so sometimes we must be, be the queen of swords. Oh, wow. I got to look at the imagery in this. There's the black candle. She's got a fan. She's in purple. See how she's in purple? See how she's in purple? She's using her intuition. Yeah, she is. Okay. It's all being by yourself. Some people fear being by themselves, too. Solitude is not death. Self-awareness is a beautiful thing. And being able to be on your own before... To know what you love and how to love and what your love language is. Again, you know, because we're constantly changing. So sometimes that's important before you dive into another relationship is what I'm hearing. Um, so that's a, that's, that's a pretty interesting uh, reading there. I'm going to, I'm just going to get my animals. But animals, you need to stay. Go to sleep, animals. We're just going to come in with a beautiful message from your guides and supporting this uh, desires, fears, and uh, lesson lessons learned reading whoa there's two of them okay both same same car same background you know it looks like you're up in the sky okay kindness your kindness does count and everyone has value okay look at that I feel like it's mirror images of each other I'm not so so not used to two cards coming out like that okay so Spirit's wanting you to remember this in your relationship to yourself, too, okay? And your relationships with others, okay? Everyone has value. So even the relationships, the experiences, okay, that we have that weren't so good, that has value, too. And your kindness does ma Kindness, gratitude, all of that. Your giving spirit, it does count. It's called karma, okay? It all comes back to you, okay? So, you know, I hope this reading resonated with you today. Very different, but, you know, I expected it to be with uh, tuning into this brand new deck. So I hope you enjoyed it today. If you're interested in a personal private reading, remember my, all my information is down below. Give me a thumbs up. Love you, Aquarius. And I'll be back again with uh, a general reading sometime soon. Bye.